Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do tea videos every single day so if you're looking for a new messy best friend who's going to give you the tea on everything reality tv influencer housewives girl i got you covered so make sure you hit that subscribe button i would be so incredibly grateful all right you guys let's talk about one of my favorites what was my favorite now it's just like really cringe miss jill zarin so listen jill thirsty Saren, like brandy wants to call her she has expressed many times that she really wants to come back to the real housewives of anything bitch at this point she would come back to fucking Atlanta, Potomac, New Jersey, um, you know, Dubai. Like, she will literally do what it takes to come back. Well, listen, you guys. Um, after watching the uh, girls' trip, you know, in Bluestone Manor, which was my favorite, you guys. Okay, comment below. Which one was your favorite? Did you like the first season or the second? I have to say, I think they had a lot more fun in the first. But, girl, this season, bitch, that was insane. Like, it was Girl, every episode was a, such a mess. And Jill, to be very honest with you guys, like, there has always been, like, this whole thing where Jill's so iconic, Jill's so iconic, Jill, Jill, Jill. But after, honestly, watching this season of Girls Trip, I'm just like, girl, Jill's not that interesting. You know what I mean? Like, to be very honest, that's just my opinion. As someone who really, really loved Jill, I don't find her that fascinating anymore. I really did... I know it was like a joke between all of them, but I really found her to be like a walking, um, not CBS, bitch. You know what I mean? That, what is that? T NBC? No, not CBS. No, uh, girl, you know, you know that channel where Bethany goes on. Everyone goes on. Damn, I forgot. Whatever, bitch. The home network, the home shopping network, HSN. <gasps> Ooh, but yes, bitch. Look at me go, honey. That, uh, Jinka Baloba that I'm taking, bitch, it is working. But anyways, listen. Um, it has been in the talks and there has been a lot of rumors that Jill Zarin was actually going to come back at, in the Real Housewives of New York legacy with Ramona, Sonia, Dorinda, the Countess, even Alex, bitch, and r allegedly Bethany was down to do just one season if all of the original girls were there. Well, listen, it turns out that Bravo is kind of over her. I told you guys from the very beginning that these housewife like extra spin-off shows, they are literally auditions. Like they are auditions to see who can come back. For example, look at Tamra. Look at uh, Phaedra allegedly coming uh, to being a friend of Dubai and allegedly coming to Atlanta. You know what I mean? So here's the thing, you guys. Like I really do have to say that um, Phaedra and Tamra really shined. And Dorinda, which we all thought was going to shine, looked honestly that same angry mess that she was the last season of New York. And listen, I am team Dorinda. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. I am definitely team Dorinda. But I did have to say, like, it was really, really sad to see this. But anyways, back to Jill. Um, so it turns out, right, that according to Radar Online, um, it says here that um, so basically it says here, uh, this is what a source said, right? It says, they are just not that into her. It seems like every few years, Jill tries to get back on the show and each time she is rejected. However, this time with all the ladies being fired, Jill really thought she had a chance, the source said. Um, it says that Jill reminded Bravo that she found Bethany Frankel and she thinks she can do it again. She has put together a list of ladies, including herself, to pitch to Bravo. So basically, Jin, uh, Jin, Jill is saying, maybe she needs a shot of Jin. Jill is saying that, you know, girl, listen, I am like producer eyes. I got you, Bethany. I can get you more girls. If I can be on the show, let me at least be a producer. Um, here's the thing. She has Jill Saren rugs and she has tumblers and shirts and all these different things, which she even has like, she has everything. Girl, you need it. She has it. Or if she doesn't have it in that second bit, she will find a way to have it. Okay. Um, I think once you taste the, the little taste of like, um, you know, a fame and of, 
um, attention and money and opportunity and all of these things, it is very difficult to shake off. And I think for someone like Jill, who is very much obsessed with the fame, obsessed with attention, it is difficult for her to sort of move forward with her life. Now, um, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that Jill belongs on Legacy. You know what I mean? Like, say what you want about Jill or whatever, but if they are doing Legacy, I really think Jill has to be on it, right? And even though Andy, he made a very shady joke, which we're going to see right now, he made a shady joke and it was basically that he said in Watch What Happens Live that Jill Zarin, because of Taylor returning to, and, and Tamara returning to OC, that Jill is closing uh, homes in Dubai, New Jersey, Atlanta, Potomac, like everywhere where there is a city. So, you know, basically like he is calling her out to being thirsty. Um, I think, again, it is very difficult to say goodbye to that sort of world and lifestyle that you are, you know, used to. But at the same time, you know, whenever we found out about the whole like Bobby's funeral thing, that really like, like, honestly, that really like put a thing in me because I love a hustler. I love someone who hustles, who buffles, who does that shit, you know, to do. But like, she, I mean, she got called out for allegedly calling the cameras of Bravo to the funeral. And it turned out to be her assistant. But girl, your assistant is not going to do that without an order, right? And she said that Bethany, she didn't know Bethany was mic'd. Like, I just honestly, like that, right when I saw that, I was like, damn, like her need for fame and attention and to be back on Bravo is insane. But besides her thirst, bitch, I do think she belongs on Legacy. So they are doing Legacy, she belongs. But after also seeing the Real Housewives of, um, the, or sorry, the Girls Trip, Ex-Wives Club, I don't think she brought a lot to the table. You know what I mean? I think that she thinks she is more iconic than she is. I think she thinks she is more loved than she is, which that's not a bad thing because bitch, fake it till you make it. But I do think that she wasn't that interesting. I mean, if I, if anyone from that show should have a return is Tamara, is um, Phaedra 100%. And, you know, I think that's basically it. And I mean, as much as I love Dorinda, we know that Dorinda might be on Legacy, but Dorinda got a lot of backlash. Dorinda got a lot of hate. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But um, what do you guys think about Jill allegedly not returning to Legacy? What do you think about Andy shading Jill? Let me know in the comments below, you guys. It is it is pretty insane how much people are so uh, affected by fame. And I could imagine, I mean, if you have the whole world to your fingertips and you, you know, get this sort of like freedom of, of popularity and stuff like, yeah, I could definitely imagine it's not easy to shake. So, um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, I am so grateful for each and every one of you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.